you know, we we really got to get to the bottom of this drummer situation because yeah, the, you right. know, the show must go on. And there's only three members, and really, it's pretty it's two weird. now. I mean, we tried playing uh, the show without the drummer, and there's just something missing. There's something missing, yeah. And uh, I think it might be drummer. You know what? Positive thing out of all this: great food at the funeral. Oh. Damn, did Perfect. you get that uh, caterer's card? I did, I did. Oh, I gave it to Corinne. She's got it up front. Lord, Lord, Lord knows we uh, throw a lot of funerals. Mackenzie's Catering in Toronto, Ontario. Very good. Uh, excellent ham sandwiches. Oh, uh, It was a shame that we found that good food at Cold Lunch's funeral. Cold Lunch Kyle, rest in peace, 1985 to 2023. I told him. Don't that. told him. I heard him say it. Yeah, well, he said, you know, you can't take this big boy down. And that was it. And then another and mouthful of no, rock. That was it. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, you know, and uh, unfortunately. So we'll take a moment of silence here and uh, remember our good friend, Cold Lunch Kyle. I feel like he would have thought that was enough time. Yeah, that was yeah, good. That was good. That was fun. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. William Cletus, Battle Smash Esquire the 17th MD. And I'm uh, Dick, Dick Dickerson. Dick Dickerson. And uh, we're from Battle Smash and a uh, few uh, new changes here around the old headquarters. And, uh, had to happen. Had to happen. I mean, we didn't have an option. Uh, cold lunch passed away, uh, succumbed to Salmonella. And, uh, rather suddenly. Rather suddenly. But uh, lucky enough, we were looking for new drummers well before he passed away. Because uh, we knew this was going to happen. You know, it's just a matter of science and uh, time. And uh, so we started... Uh, auditioning new drummers and uh, interviewing new drummers to see uh, who was uh, fit to fiddle this position, uh, not for the faint of heart. And uh, who's fit to fiddle? As per, uh, they don't fiddle; they drum. Them. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's what those first few uh, auditions were about. You know, like, and that was the thing. Like, I felt like some of them were good, but they just didn't get it. Yeah, they were playing I mean, fiddles. Yeah, they were playing fiddles. One thing. We told we told you we needed a drummer, and you showed up with a viola. It was kind of weird. Viola. Mm-hmm. Viola? <laughs> we'll look it up later. Debbie! Debbie! The viola? The viola. The viola? Viola? Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll go with that. I don't know how accurate she is, but, uh, so we started this search for new drummers, and a lot of applicants, a lot of people sent in, and we thank you for all those videos, and, uh... Hundreds of applicants. Hundreds of worldwide. applicants. Worldwide. Worldwide. Uh, mainly Uganda was at the forefront. There was a few drummers there that were excellent. Uh, but, uh, you know... Border laws and stuff like that keep us from bringing people like that into the fold. Yeah. And, uh, but you exactly. know what? We do have an audition coming in today. I talked to Corinne, she confirmed. Uh, Debbie booked it. Uh, anyways, uh, so, but Corinne says, uh, this guy's coming in. Uh, he comes very highly recommended. He's played in a lot of local bands around here. Probably, uh, he's got a good name. Yeah, he does. Uh, from what we hear, he, uh, majored at, uh, Berkeley for snare drum. Core and, uh, and Harvard for kick drum. For kick drum. So he went to two different schools for two different uh, drums. That's how you know he's good. Yeah. And uh, so he, he comes very highly recommended. And uh, so we're going to check him out today and uh, see if he's of the uh, caliber that we're looking for. Um, so let's uh, let's get him in here. You want to? Debbie! Debbie! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna what, what's, what's his there? name? What's his name? Uh, printed this off but I can't read it it's all in Aztec you can't read her print it's in Aztec I don't know what she's doing uh, does it say oh Bird? that's the font never mind that's the font um, John Andreas uh, let's get him in here send it John yeah send it John thank you Debbie yep yeah, yeah. have a seat yeah hey guys hey how's it going how you doing did you pronounce your name right yeah spot on John Andreas hey, pleasure uh, I, I'm a Dr. William Cletus Battle Smash, as far as 17th uh, MD. Uh, I'm kind of starstruck, actually. A little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, it's just, you know, I've heard your music, and uh, here you are. You're a powerful, powerful band. Uh, you know, I mean, it comes with the territory. Uh, it's kind of power. It's a great responsibility. It's the kind of power that comes from the legs. It's the kind of power that Tobey Maguire had. From his legs. From his legs. <coughs> Shot webs from them and stuff. Uh, Anyways, this is John Andriatis. Uh, say something to the world, say something to the fans. Hey, there's at least 15 people watching right now. So, uh, John, uh, it's good to meet you. Uh, you come highly recommended. You, uh, it's, uh, we read uh, Snare Drum Core at Berkeley Performing Arts. 
No, 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 never went there. No, no. Oh. Uh, so then I guess, uh, check the papers. How many papers was it? No. You don't know. They, they, they're gone now. Um, I asked Debbie, but she just left. Yeah, she did. She called her Bermuda. I saw the plane ticket. I didn't even see Corinne today. Oh, that's true. She in? Back there? Highly suspect. Anyways, um, yeah. So, uh, but we also read that, uh, or Corinne said that you were uh, a major uh, bass drum at Harvard University. That is correct. That's true, yeah. And well, you studied under? Uh, you know, under Professor uh, Jenkins, yeah. That's the one. Oh, I, I know I, Jenkins. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. But he was a good well, guy. I mean, we did acid with him. Like, we did like, three yeah. or four times. I, mean, yeah. I, I pretty much passed because we sold him acid. His, his hands turned into drumsticks. Yeah, and then he was. You know what? Maybe we should call him. Well, maybe. Yeah. I know. Hindsight's always sweet. Ah, wait a second. Uh, anyways, um, so how long have you been drumming for? Uh. 25 years? 25 years. Yeah. So that would make you like 64. Yeah, spot on. That's pretty uh, uh, up there with our ages. I yeah. was born in 1956. So I was born in 1881. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. Man. I didn't know you were older than me. 100%. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You didn't notice my voice changed over all those years? What? Yeah, that was puberty? <laughs> That's kind of <clears throat> What are you looking at, Johnny? Ah, uh, there's just, you know, there's a lot going on in this place. So mm -hmm. just making sure Battle Smash HQ. Yeah. 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 Um, You'll meet the team later. Uh, anyways, uh, so 25 years, wow. Um, uh, any influences? Any? Uh, what's your? Who's your favorite drummer? Uh, John Fushante? Nope. Uh, I don't know him. Tom DeLonge? Yeah, he's a great drummer. Uh, Gene great. Simmons was also very good. Not bad. Yeah, Gene or Billy Joe? From, uh, uh, Green Day. Yeah. Green Day. Green Day. The drummer from right, Green Day, Billy Joe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Green of Days. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, Mike Mangini is pretty good. Mike Mangini. Yeah. Oh, Dream Theater. Man. Those Dream guys Theater. suck. What a bunch of pretentious assholes. Yeah. Pretty bad. Yeah. You like that crap? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. you know, and it's an acquired taste. I feel like they try too hard. I do too. I mean, yeah. they're like, you know what we need to do here is a minor fifth succession. Well, I'm going to hit several drums. Yeah, I have a succession for you. Cool it with the succession drums. Succession your ass out of here. Yeah. That's what I'm successful. Anyways. I think you uh, told them that last time you played. Yeah, yeah, you know, me and, me and John Petrucci got in a oh. fight in Tijuana and it wasn't fun. Um, yeah. I won. I was going to say. Because yeah. uh, he continued playing his guitar while I continued kicking him in the head. And uh, John, John Petrucci. Uh, total dick. Dream theater sucks. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a point off the column for you, I guess. So. Yeah, I'd say put it on the papers, but you don't have it. I don't have any papers. Hey, yeah. try to remember it then. Probably. Um, so, um, favorite bands, influences, stuff like that? Uh, I grew up playing Slipknot uh, as a late guy. Oh, Jay, Jay Weinberg. Jay Weinberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Weinberg. Well, you know, yeah. Joey Norton, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Who's that guy? The, uh, you know, just, you know, he was there for a drummer, that's all. Sounds well, like a, we'll have to check the record. Though, sounds right? like a cartoon drummer. Yeah, I know, I don't Joey, know if I believe him. I forgot the name of him. I don't know if I Joey believe something. I, I feel like he's making it up. Jordanson. Like, come on. Jordanson. What, what kind of name is that? Oh, Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, so Slipknot, uh, cool. Uh, yeah, so, uh, what kind of sticks do you like to play? Because that's a big deal, you know. Uh, Shirakashi Oak, Comark. Okay. They're, they're five A's. Five A's. Yeah. Uh, five A's. <coughs> right? I feel like you should be playing two well, B's. Two B's or something like that. Two B's. Two B's are like the tone you can we're really, going for. You, you know? can really. Like, I, I don't know if five A's oh, will cut through the mix. You can really hear them crunch when you. In your hands. In your hands. Yeah. yeah. And uh, battle smash them. Yeah. It looks like he drums though. I mean. Yep. Yeah. It's not bad. Um, so. <laughs> I guess uh, we got to find out if you're good enough for the job, and the only way to do that is with the drum solo. So I assume drum that solo. you're uh, fluent in drum solos. Yeah, yeah, I can hold and on. You can do solo. it. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, um, so because we're trying to implement more drum solos and less courses into the next record. So. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna get you set up. We have a kit here for you, and uh, let's see what you can do. Okay. We'll be right back with. Uh, John's audition for Battle Smash. You can head on over there, bud. All right. <clears throat> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Make sure you spray that. Yeah. The last guy. Get a little bit of that, too. Yeah. Put it in the air. Put it in the air. 
Lucky I didn't mix those up for you. You better be good. So yeah, um, this is the kit we got for you. Uh, this so kit right here? That's right. Yeah, all set up, ready to go for you. Um, oh. Okay. Um, can I take the bottom off the seat? Oh yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Sorry. Right. We've been auditioning other drummers, you know. So. <clears throat> okay. No problem. Okay. So pretty much what we want is like, give us the goods, give us everything, all the flashy stuff, give me the goods. All the bells and the whistles. The bells and the whistles, the cats and the dogs, the fries and the milkshake. The lamb and the tuna fish. That's right. Uh, the lamb and the cheese curd. Give me that. All right, let's go. Okay. Stone Cold Fox, hands on AF. Yeah. And uh, Kern kind of plays by the wayside a little bit. Kern, yeah, she's a little bit more reserved. There, yeah. So I figured I'd call that 1 800 number. And uh, here we are. All right, all right, all right. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't even know those things went out. A likely backstory. Yes. Um, so, uh, how long have you been playing for? Uh, how long have I been playing? Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably like that. A few months. A few months. A few months. This is promising. Yeah, um, yeah that sounds good. I think it said on uh, the paper like drums that for a few months. Uh, drums for a few months, but he was also uh, very fluent <coughs> in bongos, so that's why we yeah and Spanish. Yeah, yeah, Spanish percussion. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, six months, thirty so. Yeah, I figured that's all. That's all I would need. So. Yeah, not bad. But as long as a uh, healthy juice cleanse. That's right. Yes. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, six month juice cleanse available now at the address below. Um, so, uh, well, well, I guess uh, we got to find out a few things about you. Uh, where are you from? What do you do? Uh... You know, I do stuff. And, uh, uh -huh. you know. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, stuff. Um, he might that's... be a little too high energy for this bear. He might be, yeah. I feel like he's bursting <clears throat> out of the seams here. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, any influences? Uh, favorite bands? Favorite bands? That's a good one. Favorite bands? Uh, well... First and foremost, the Wiggles. The Wiggles, yes. And, uh, I'm big. I'm they're familiar. big, yes, they're, they're very big. The Wiggles. Wiggles. Uh, I heard Taylor Swift was coming through here. So. Hey, did you get tickets? Tea Swift. I couldn't get tickets, no. Oh, don't worry. We'll get, we'll get Debbie to work on that if you... Uh, yeah, we'll get back stage. Yeah. Oh, uh, she's a good friend. Um, that and Liv Tyler. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so... Uh, you ever played in uh, metal bands? or Metal bands? Yeah. No. No? First no. time. Yeah. You figured you'd just give her the old college try. Yeah, yeah. I'm a trier. Not much of a giver. No. I'll, I'll try all day. Cool. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I like how he's really short with everything, too. Do you have a drummer? Uh, you know, just, uh, just say it yourself. Anyone, really. Yourself, right? Me? Yeah. Myself? Yeah. yeah. As of about three months ago, yeah, I was I became the best drummer that I knew. I uh, climbed the ranks. I like the uh, I like the confidence. Yeah, you climbed yeah. that ladder. He, he's he's confident that he's a great drummer, so that's good. You know, Cold Lunch was like kind of a background guy. Background dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, rest in peace, by the way. Uh, oh. The heat your chicken. Um, anyways, uh, so I guess we got to see what you're capable of doing. Um, sure. Sure. Uh, so sure. we have some drums set up over there. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, you can show us that. You, you know any drums? You're a good drum solo guy? Because you give me a lot of drum solos. I want to put more drum solos. More drum solos. Yeah. Less, yeah. less courses, more drum solos. That's the next record. So that's really the test. I mean, more drum solos. No. What kind of sticks do you prefer to play? What's what's your uh, brand of stick? Well, uh, wood. Wood, wood yes. Uh, I think you got wood ones right we here. We have and, wood, uh, wood ones right here. <clears throat> Great. Good. Yeah. Odd number. Can you play three sticks at one time? Uh, well, mm, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Good, good. good. Uh, confidence three, again. Three, uh, three, what size sticks, though? Well, <laughs> bend over and listen. Cool, cool. Just, uh, hang <clears> on. <throat> <laughs> <laughs> bend over and I'll show it. 